Hey guys, this is Solo, and this is the Callisto Protocol Weapons Build Guide. Let's jump into it. So the first gun you are actually going to get is going to be the hand cannon. But this gun is really not that great. I do not recommend leveling this gun. And here's why. It only becomes really effective once you've leveled it up completely and you get the boom bullets. But what happens is you use almost the entire magazine just to fire one of those shots. And you don't run around with four magazines of bullets because you simply just don't have space so this gun to me is entirely useless i say again do not level this gun so this is the stun baton this is your bread and butter you are going to use this at the end of the boss fights you are going to use it in between it doesn't use bullets this is your go-to your bread and butter basically i do recommend leveling the entire row of damage so max out its damage and level at least minimum one or two of the other two rows which is a block and sort of like a, a swing that gives you an extra type of attack and the problem is your inventory especially in the beginning is not big enough to carry serious amounts of ammo and also you might want to sell some of the ammo because these upgrades they cost credits or money your second go-to is going to be the grp the gravity restraint projector it's basically like a gravity arm all right so i definitely recommend maxing out the capacity the energy upgrades you need to max this out and at least one of the speed the recharge speeds and then put one more point into the velocity max out its capacity and give it a little bit of recharge and a little bit of velocity now i've actually tried to max this arm out to the max but i couldn't do it i had one left on the velocity and it works quite well you are going to use this quite often there's always a fan or some sort of platform or spiky wall or something that you can throw or shoot the enemies off with with this arm it works really well max this out if you can your next gun is going to be the skunk works shotgun it's a little handheld shotgun now i did use this a little bit but it's not worth upgrading either i do prefer the shotgun you get from danny over this one because it holds more ammo than this one and its final upgrade is also a lot better than this one in my opinion so maybe if you want to upgrade the ammo capacity but over that i i wouldn't upgrade this either then we get the dk4 riot shotgun the one that danny gives you now this is the first real gun you're actually going to get that's going to make a difference i do recommend leveling this gun all the way you will get awesome kills with it it does a quite decent bit of damage and its final upgrade makes it worth the while the explosive rounds upgrade which is the final upgrade they when you fire them explode so when you do your final boss fight or you take on the two-headed monsters or other monsters you're going to get in game they work really well UJC Special Ops Tactical Pistol. I didn't even play with this. I didn't upgrade it. Its final upgrade is a burst round shot. I didn't use this gun at all. You're just not going to have the money or the credits to upgrade everything. So you're going to have to make a choice. I didn't play with this gun. I don't think you should either. And the last gun you're going to get is the UJC Special Ops Assault Rifle. Now this gun is going to be a lifesaver, especially against the final boss. I also definitely recommend leveling this as far as you possibly can. However, again, you don't get enough money for everything and if you miss a couple of things i don't know if you will be too but even if you can just get it to the magnum rounds or the extra ammo capacity this gun is definitely worth so the two main guns you will basically be playing with is the assault rifle and the shotgun that you get from danny that is basically what you should do then use your grp your gravity hand and your electric baton that's it guys that's a wrap up for this gun guide or the weapons build i hope it helps i hope you guys survive you make it to the end and i hope hope you kick the boss's ass solo out thanks for watching